At some point in your building process, you may have to install a cowl. And working with a cowl, you're going to need to cut and trim fiberglass. There's a number of methods of cutting fiberglass. Many of them are messy, lots of dust, and somewhat dangerous. Let's look at some of the tools we typically use to cut fiberglass. And then I want to show you a new technique, a new tool, maybe a better way to be cutting and trimming fiberglass for your home built project. Some builders use metal snips to cut fiberglass as long as it's not too thick and of course it does a real number on the blades in short order but that is one non-power tool option for cutting fiberglass. Then we have saber saws or jigsaws. Now especially if we use the abrasive blades that have no teeth these will do a nice job cutting. Of course they create plenty of dust Then we have all sorts of spinning cutoff discs. This one is air powered, this one is electric, and these will cut through anything, including fiberglass, tons of dust, clouds of dust. And you need to be very careful. Some of these smaller electric tools have blades that are thin and flimsy and will break off. Gotta have plenty of eye protection when using tools like this. There's a little bit of danger involved, but they do work. Now here's the tool that I want to demonstrate for today. You may have seen these before as advertised on TV. This is a variable speed oscillating multi-function power tool. Let me say that again. Variable speed oscillating multi-function power tool. The blade is up here. There's some very fine teeth. It's electric motorized. It is variable speed, though that's not required. And this blade oscillates just a tiny bit back and forth very fast. But the beauty of this is how it cuts fiberglass. Let's do a demonstration first and then we'll talk about what's happening. Here's a piece of fiberglass that I cut off from a cowl and I drew some lines and we're going to use those lines for our practice cutting with the tool. So I just have it here on the bench and one thing I want you to notice is that when I turn this on it's going to make a lot of noise so I am going to cut the audio down but I want to show you that you can touch the blade when it's on and it won't knock your hand off. Another thing I want you to watch is that the dust from cutting does not blow around because nothing is blowing or moving fast. All the dust falls straight down by gravity. So for a virtually dustless environment other than the crumbling of the dust, this tool does not create a cloud of fiberglass, which is somewhat dangerous to be breathing in. I'll make a few more uh, cuts as demonstration. There are other blade attachments. I've just been experimenting with this circular one. There's a straight one. 
but I don't have a lot of experience um, trying out all the different attachments. But what I like about this is number one, it's safe, there's nothing to cut your hand off. And the other thing is the lack of cl uh, dust clouds that emanate from all of the other uh, power tool techniques. And it's not super fast, but that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. As I understand it, these tools will also cut uh, soft metals, and there is a sanding attachment for being able to sand in tight areas. Nice thing about it is these are relatively inexpensive, $20, $30 at the aviation department of Harbor Freight is where I got this one, though they're available at many uh, home improvement stores and lots of other potential uses for it around the house other than just cutting fiberglass. And the pictures on the box will show you what some of those other purposes are. But one more tool for our aviation toolbox, and I just like the idea of being able to cut fiberglass safely, no lost fingers if you don't love those spinning blades, and the dust is very manageable. And that's our tip of the week, so I'm getting back to building right now. I'm going to do some more cutting.